Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Munich and welcome to the trade show booth of Murata Innovator in Electronics. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to present the Murata Boy, our bicycle riding robot. Murata Boy's skill is cycling. This may seem to be a simple skill, but when we consider the problems of learning how to cycle a bike ourselves, we can all remember how difficult that was. Not too fast, not too slow, keep your balance, don't stop moving your feet. Murata Boy achieved this difficult task by using various of Murata's leading edge technologies such as a variety of sensors, control circuits and software incorporated into the small body. Now, let's take a look at Murata Boy cycling. My colleague Mr. Yoshikawa from Japan will show you Murata Boy's exciting features and as we watch the robot I'd like to explain you the various features. Now, let's take a look what else Murata Boy can do. There we go, look at this. Murata Boy is standing completely free. When I saw this for the first time, I was really impressed because I cannot do this on my bike. I don't know if anyone of you can. <laughs> if yes, please demonstrate. <laughs> Well, the keys to Murata Boy's success are the two gyro sensors installed underneath his seat. The gyro sensors detect minute movements to calculate the slanting angle of the body. And once the slanting angle is calculated, the robot rotates this large disc in his chest to generate force to correct the slanting angle. Murata Boy performs this process repeatedly to maintain his balance and riding position. Such exceptional features as freestanding were realized by integrating Murata's high precision sensing technology and leading edge control technology. As you can see now, Murata Boy cycles very stably without the need of an auxiliary wheel. Positioning control technology makes this ultra slow cycling of less than two kilometers an hour possible, difficult even for humans. Also, there's a shock sensor that detects the impact to the body caused by bumps or unevenness in the street and send signals to the control circuit. Ladies and gentlemen, now we will see how Murata Boy detects obstacles and stops before bumping into it. As the obstacle, we will use the hand of my colleague and you will see that Murata Boy stops within seconds. Look at this. Well, how does it work? We are using ultrasonic sensors for that. They are installed in his chest as well. The right sensor transmits ultrasound and the left sensor receives ultrasound reflected from the hand, from the obstacle. The robot then calculates the distance to the obstacle based on the time gap between transmission and reception. Ultrasonic sensors are also used in real life, in automobile backup sonar, in cold parking assistance, and also in car alarm systems. And now, let's start the highlight of this demonstration. Murata Boy cycles at very slow speed over an S-curve balance beam, only 10 centimeters wide. I would not even try to do this myself. Let's go. That's an ultra difficult task, miraculously made possible by using various technologies. Here, advanced positioning control realizes the freestanding. And in addition to that, there's a CCD camera installed inside of Murata Boy's head. And this camera can sense the balance beam as a track, and this enables, for example, the precise steering. Furthermore, it can recognize the end of the balance beam and Murata Boy will stop automatically before falling down. You will see that in a few seconds when he arrives. Well, in such image processing, the know-how of Murata's creative skills are required, as well as production facilities for positioning and controls at a micron level. Murata Boy, this cycling robot has resulted by integrating Murata's leading edge technology such as sensing, communication, 
and control all of them allied with the skills of Murata's innovative manufacturing. We are sure now you can see what sensors are doing and that sensors, control circuits and software can be used as an integrated set. Here we are seeing how it works. Murata Boy stops. He didn't stop because I said it, he did it by himself automatically. Well, Murata Manufacturing will use these leading edge technologies and applications in many fields, not just for robots, but also for sensory devices, for energy and for communications, and hopefully we can discover even more product applications. Last but not least, we will show you a little special that we have prepared for you, Mr. Yoshikawa has an iPhone with him and he uses this iPhone to control Murata Boy, well Murata Boy's brother in this case, via Wi-Fi. You see this in a few seconds and while we are waiting, I will give some Murata Boy souvenirs away. Maybe you can ask some easy questions. What's the name of the robot? Murata Boy, very good. What kind of sensors are we using? I see. Do you remember? Ultrasonic, yes. Don't be shy, very good. Another one, starts with a G. Gyro sensor, very good. Congratulations. And now look at this. Murata boy is controlled by a mobile phone, by an iPhone. That's great, isn't it? And since Murata boy is a very polite little man, of course he will say thank you. And I say thank you too for your attention. If you have any further questions, there we go. Ah.